Okay, here is my view. <laughs> I just woke up. Um, the gardens are, like if I would jump that wall, I'd be in the gardens. They're really quiet, pretty. Brush my teeth. <laughs> go get some breakfast which is really fun my first time i can be alone and go out so i'm excited <laughs> Toast and my hot chocolate. So the problem is here in Scotland, I'm weary to get anything out. I don't know if the bacon at certain places is going to be Canadian bacon. I don't know what haggis is. I have a bad feeling about it. I think I know what it is and I don't think I'll like it. Mince pies. I thought that was fruit last night. I was thinking of, or sorry, meat last night. I was like, oh, mince pie, that's the one with like meat. That's a shepherd's pie. Mince pie is like with fruit. I don't know if I'll like it, so I've just been getting toast with Nutella on it because I know I like it in hot chocolate because coffee's not the best for me with my acid reflux. It's pretty good everywhere. Nothing's been, like, great. Well, dinner last night, the cauliflower soup was great, and the Scottish fish and chips were really good. And honestly, actually, the breakfast yesterday, I might just go back to that place for breakfast again. That was really good. I don't know how tipping works here, so I'm going to ask my family just for a heads up, and then I'm going to try to get some homework done and then go to work, so... I might film something today, I might not. I mean, unless they let me off early, then I would film, walk around, so. Okay, now that I took his brain off, put the sad inside. Put the sadness inside of his brain. <laughs> Oh man, it's been a long, crazy day at work. Mostly I was there with the kids. We went out once, we went to the White Company. They have it in America too. We went to the White Company so they could pick out stuffed animals. They bought me back an arancini for lunch. And that was really yummy. I had one last night with them and it was really good. And so they were like, we thought you'd like the spinach one best. So that was nice. And then I just watched the girls while they went out for lunch. and. They went to a hockey game. Um, they have a cousin playing in it. And so they went there while I stayed with a little one while she napped. And then we just ran out to the grocery store. So <laughs> it's weird, but I thought I'd open my groceries. Grocery haul. No, uh, just show they bought them for me, which was really sweet. So just show that. And then I'm super hungry. I don't know if I'll eat dinner here, actually, because I want to go out. It's the first night I've had out. Not really but last night I was so tired I got off at like 8 and I came here and I was like bedtime by 10 30 now it's like 6 or 7 even though it's pitch black I mean the Sun goes down at 4 o'clock here which is pretty crazy uh, I mean it goes down early at home but like 5 or 6 4 is like the Sun has set 3 30 is like it's getting dark yeah I'm gonna open my groceries and then maybe go out and then I can vlog it because um, I'm not at work but it's pretty odd. It's still awkward for me to vlog, but even weirder here because I'm already a tourist and I don't want to be that tourist person. Um, I also want to meet cute boys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, might vlog, but doing this, walking around the streets, me like, so this is weird. Um, so I definitely feel safer vlogging in here, but it's boring. There's my cool, look at this kitchen. I have my own freaking kitchen. Uh, how do I do this one-handed? Okay, first thing. They got this, so I did. It's just... Uh, it, the grocery store I went to is called Weight Rose, and all the food is so different here, but it's so cool. So, spinach and ricotta tortellini. Also, they only got me a few groceries because I kept telling them I didn't want to be picky. So every time they suggested something, I was like, no, really, I'm going to get groceries another time because I just... I don't want them to know how picky I am. I'm not really that picky, but I just, I want to go to the grocery store after I have, like, recipes prepared. I got chicken gyozas, pot stickers, whatever you want to call them. Um, super yummy. I love Asian food, so there's that. Um, they bought me an advent calendar of lint. Like, how sweet. I love it. I haven't had a an advent calendar for, like, two years, 
but when we did, we stopped getting ones when we were like 10 that were chocolate. They're just stories now. It's not really that fun, but this is chocolate. Um, and then, I, oh, frick, I knew that was going to happen if I banged them around. Okay, so this is supposed to be some sushi. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh, no. Please, please, please. These are eggs. Okay, I think they're good. They're good. They don't refrigerate eggs there. Fun fact. It's pretty interesting. Everything's a mess. So they were like, you have to try a mince pie. It's supposed to just be fruit, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate it, so it should be a good reaction. I might like it, though. I might. I'm just not a fruit person. I got some bread for toast. Um, I'm going to put on the toast instead of butter nutella so i actually already brought nutella over from america it's in my cupboard as you saw this morning or last night but they were like no it's way better here which i do know it is and i was like no really don't you don't have to and he's like no no, no put it in your cart so they bought me some that um vegetable soup that's i just really like soup and i like vegetable soup when i get it i freaking love haagen dazs and I love Belgian chocolate, so I'm hoping it's better here. I don't know that it will be, but the the packaging is different. I don't know if that's just because I know it's an American brand. Apparently, they were like, no, we get these like 10 of these a day. You have to get them. So it's two cracking hot chocolate souffles. Cracking, that means a word over here. Cracking. Scotland, two cracking hot chocolate souffles. I don't know what that means, cracking. I don't Dang it. Well, you put them in the oven and they're like, you have to have ice cream with it. So I'm going to do that. Up a smoothie drink because something to eat with breakfast. So on the toast, I'll put the Nutella and strawberries, like a strawberry Nutella crepe. So I got strawberries and that and then smoothies for breakfast because I'm mostly going to be eating breakfast. I'm going to go out with them for lunch every day, which they pay for. And then I might go out for dinner. Um, so they got me shortbreads. So this four cheese sauce, they told me just to get this with um, the tortellini. I don't know that I'll like it, but maybe. And then of course, the only thing that matters, milk. Uh, milk, mac and cheese and ice cream is like, they tell us. So that's what I got. Yeah, how cool is that guys? Uh, it's not that cool. Here, don't get over yourself. I am all dressed and ready to go out tonight. I have to go. Um, I'm going to go to the Conan Doyle pub. It's called Conan Doyle and funny enough, I brought my collections, complete collections of Sherlock. So I'm going to go read that in the Conan Doyle pub and have dinner. Um, it's getting on to be about 7, 7.30 here. So pretty hungry. Um, and then I got kind of dressed up. I did mascara and lipstick, which is like pretty good for me. Um, even loving makeup, I just never, ever do it. Um, and that's really all I brought. And then I put on a necklace and earrings, but I'm still wearing like freaking converse so I'm in that mid stage where I look not good but then a little good um so that's about it I'm gonna go eat there again I don't want to vlog the walk down because that would be so awkward but it's so pretty so maybe I'll film it but not facing me <sighs> okay so there's not too many people out except for cars but who cares it's freezing it's so cold <laughs> but I love it I love the cold, I'm just not prepared for it. And I love the city. I just love the architecture so much. You can't see much because it's so dark. So I'm headed to dinner, but it's so cold and I don't have a hat or gloves or anything and I'm free. So I'm here and I was reading my book in the Conan Doyle. Here's my food. There's the sea bass with baby potatoes and the hollandaise sauce. And the sea bass is great with the hollandaise sauce. They're just potatoes. They're good. Let's try the mac and cheese. I really hope it's good. Mac is my boyfriend. I was falling asleep reading. I mean, the book is great. I'm reading uh, The Scandal Bohemia with Irene Adler. It's a really good one. I've always loved that one. And then, um, but I'm just so tired, honestly. I still have jet lag, I think. That's great. Not as good as crap, but nothing is. I'm gonna eat more of this stuff. So I'll see you guys later. 
So I had a great night reading in the pub and eating. The food is great. I got a brownie. It was good. I finished my book. And uh, <laughs> so awkward. He was, all the boys are cute here. He was so cute, but like literally they're all so hot. So I'm freezing now. Headed back to the hotel. This music's dope. I'm uh, just reading the instruction manual for the hotel. This is BBCUR1X. It's pretty good. That wasn't a very good beat drop. I was trying to plan my trip tonight and plan everything that I'm going to do for the rest of the trip. Um, the rest of my days, like the attractions I was going to see, the place I was going to go, the place I was going to eat at. But I am not well. I'm fading so fast. This happened last night too, where my eyes were just closing. I was typing my Facebook update to let everyone know how my day went. And I fell asleep three times and woke up through the night and was like trying to finish it. I shouldn't have. I should have just turned it off and went to bed. But oh, It's been a mediocre day. Like for me, it's been great. But for the vlog, I'm sure it's not been that great. Um, I had a ton of fun just reading my um, Sherlock book. I haven't gotten lost in a book in a while. And I got lost in that, um, which is the best feeling when you forget where you are, what you're doing. Um, I've been reading a lot of theology books or my Bible, and it's not that I can't get lost in it, I just, they're more learning and thinking, so I'm thinking the whole time, and I'm aware of my surroundings, and when you're reading a story that's just exciting and passionate, you're just like, ah, uh, where, what is life? Whoa, what's reality? You know? Cool. I'm glad. Have a good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow.